Hey, John Cristana here, online marketer and tech entrepreneur, and I'm gonna be going over how Robinhood's faulty marketing strategy caused them to lose billions of dollars. Now, if you don't know who Robinhood is, Robinhood is a trading app out here in the US that was at one time valued at $7 billion, but has lost a lot of value recently because of their practices. Now, Robinhood's marketing revolves around commission-free trading, free stock trading, and I'm gonna be detailing how basically over-promising on your marketing can lead to your company to collapse. And I'm gonna be showing you how this happened and steps you can take, whether you are running your own home-based business or working for a company or own your own company, how you can make your marketing congruent and grow rather than doing what Robin Hood did, which was over promise and under deliver. Let's get into this. John Cristani here and Robin Hood built their base off of commission free trading, free stock trading. These are ads, these are screenshots of the webpage from Robinhood.com. And if you haven't heard the news lately, Robinhood has been crashing almost every single day. Users cannot get money out of Robinhood. Users cannot trade stocks on Robinhood. Users cannot sell stocks on Robinhood. And the reason is, and the rumors are, is because they keep going up against their credit lines. They just don't have the money. They don't have the liquidity to actually keep going. And the reason for this is, is because they are a startup company that has been running at a loss because of their marketing. Now, marketing free stock trading is a beautiful proposition, commission free trading. It means literally you don't pay just any fees whatsoever to buy and sell stocks. And people have been trading billions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars back and forth using the Robinhood app because of this amazing proposition for normal day investors that they've been making. But the problem is, and the reason why I chalk up Robinhood stock price or their, their valuation just diving and their customers leaving them is because they made a proposition that they couldn't upheld at scale. Now we see free stock trading is obviously a great pitch line. Obviously, if you create a company where you promise your users free stock trading, if you promise your users something that is just as amazing as that, you know, you're gonna get customers and you're gonna get lots of customers. And they've built a monster customer base because of this. They've also have a referral program where you can make money from referring people to Robinhood and all of these amazing things to get their marketing engine fueled. That's a great marketing line, free stock trading. But the issue is that when companies market things that they can't really totally uphold or uphold at scale, the company will eventually come crashing down. Customers talk, people talk, and we've seen by this on YouTube. We see Robinhood crash, steps you need to take. Is Robinhood going under? Robinhood shut down. 200 million loan crash. Robinhood is screwed. Robinhood app crash. Robinhood experienced a system-wide outage. All of these things are happening and the hearsay on the street is that this is happening because the whole business is based off of loans, the company is unprofitable because they don't make any money. When you promise free stock trading, when Robinhood says we will not make any money, what they are doing is they are taking money from investors who invested in their company and basically giving it away to the company, leaving the last person in holding the bag, which means many people can possibly be screwed by their practices people who can't get their money out, right? So this is a massive problem and I chalk this up to incongruency, to over-promising and under-delivering. And I'm just gonna bring up a new tab here and show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you're running your own company or if you're working for a larger company, you have to understand that anybody can make bold claims and anybody can overpromise and get a lot of customers. But what will happen as your company grows and as people talk and as people start realizing that the service doesn't work as expected is that you will hit a cap and you will start, your company will end up failing 
and losing customers. And it'll just be a downward cycle. And we see this happening with companies like Apple, who based their laurels on easy to use, on privacy, and on good support. And since Steve Jobs has left, they've been shedding customers and shedding market value and going down because they can't keep up with the promises that their company was originally held on, okay? Google has maintained fast searches. That's their thing. Fa find what you want, get, you know, get results very fast. And they've been growing steadily, but surely all throughout their time because they've kept to their core promises. And if you're building a company, build your company around promises that you can ultimately keep. Anybody can overpromise and get customers, but ultimately your potential will always be capped because once people start finding out, once you grow to a sufficient level, customers talk. Whether it's bad reviews, whether it's bad press, people will find out. So no matter what you're doing in your company, no matter what type of business you're trying to build, promise what you can give, okay? Don't overpromise. If anything, under promise and over deliver and build your business around that under promising and leaving people surprised is a much better way to go about things than over promising and under delivering now if you enjoyed this video and if you just love learning about marketing and love learning about how to create your own business using the power of the marketing and the internet and what have you then make sure you subscribe to my channel there should be a button somewhere around this this web page where you can subscribe and click that notification Bell, so you can be informed of all my future live streams. I do question and answer sessions from time to time. I'm a solopreneur. I've built my business out of my home office in Malibu, California to doing over $7 million a year. And I like sharing knowledge about how others can build their own businesses through the power of, you know, just self-employment and through internet marketing. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions for me or commentary on this video, make sure to leave some comments below. Love to hear from you. Thanks for dropping by and talk to you soon.